Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, we are going to understand about membrane and its types, diffusion and osmosis. In my previous videos, I have already explained about the three colligative properties, lowering of vapor pressure that is Raoult's law, elevation of boiling point and depression in freezing point. Now it's time to understand about the fourth colligative property that is osmotic pressure. But to understand about osmotic pressure, we must have the knowledge of some basic term related to osmotic pressure. So in this video, we are going to understand those important terminologies. So let's start. In colligative properties, membranes are the barrier that separates two solutions, one at higher concentration and another one at lower concentration. Higher concentration means it has more amount of solute and lower concentration means it has less amount of solute. Let me write the definition of it. Membranes are the barrier that separates that separates two solutions two solutions at different concentrations at different concentrations so this is just a barrier that separates two liquid two solutions one at higher concentration and another one at lower concentration. Now, if we compare colligative property with thermodynamics, then this membrane is like the boundary of the system. The boundary separates system and surrounding and here membrane separates two solutions. There are three types of membranes. The first one is permeable membrane, permeable membrane. Second one is non-permeable membrane, non-permeable membrane and finally the third one is semi-permeable membrane. Here this permeable word comes from permission. So permeable membrane will allow everything to pass through it non-permeable membrane will allow nothing to pass through it and the semi-permeable membrane will allow some things to pass through it and another thing not right if we compare it with thermodynamics then what can we get in thermodynamics we consider a system this is the system and there is the surrounding and if we uh, increase the temperature of the system then there are three possibilities the system can exchange either energy or matter with the surrounding or it can exchange both or it can exchange nothing right in open system in open system case the system can exchange both energy and matter with the surrounding that is like permeable membrane in closed system the uh, system can only only exchange energy but not the matter that is like semi permeable membrane case but in case of isolated system the system can neither exchange energy nor matter with the surrounding that is like the case of non permeable membrane so it is like uh, permeable membrane is like open system open system in thermodynamics it is not actually this okay i am just trying to relate colligative property and thermodynamics and non permeable membrane means isolated system isolated system and semi permeable membrane means closed system closed system now permeable membrane will allow only solvent sorry it will allow both solvent and solute to pass through it as we are talking about colligative property that means solvent and solute then we need to talk about the flow of these two right in permeable membrane through the permeable membrane solvent as well as solute can pass through it uh, if we take non permeable membrane then nothing can pass through it okay it will just block them and semi permeable membrane will allow solvent to pass through it solvent to pass through it but solute will not be able to pass through it now if we consider in general case suppose we have a mixer sand and water mixer we actually consider homogeneous mixer over here this but uh, for the example to understand let's consider a heterogeneous mixer there is sand water mixer now if we take a net like this and if we pour this 
on that net then what will happen everything will pass through that that is like permeable membrane but if we take a simple normal cloth and if we pour that mixture over it then what will happen the sand will get deposited on top only water molecules will pass through it that is like semi permeable membrane and finally if we take a polythene and if we pour it then what will happen nothing will pass through it the sand as well as water will get blocked that is like non permeable membrane this these are the types of membrane there is another way to classify membrane as well they are natural membrane let me write it over here they are natural membrane and synthetic membrane synthetic membrane natural me membranes are uh, let me write some example they are uh, goat bladder glow goat bladder pig bladder pig bladder similarly cellophane cellophane parchment paper parchment paper etc but if we talk about synthetic membrane then there are of uh, two very commonly used synthetic membrane they are calcium phosphate calcium phosphate and copper ferrocyanide copper ferrocyanide and among them also copper ferrocyanide is frequently used in laboratories as well so this is all about membrane and its types now let's understand about diffusion and osmosis diffusion and osmosis are almost similar but they are not actually the same thing let's understand how they are different for that let me draw two figures one in diffusion side and another one in osmosis side we will uh, study them side by side so that it will be easier for us to differentiate between them let us consider they are separated by some barrier in case of diffusion let's consider this is permeable membrane permeable membrane and this is non -per sorry semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane here it can be permeable or non permeable sorry semi permeable doesn't matter okay here it could be semi permeable membrane as well and in both the sides there is the same liquid but at different concentrations okay this is the same liquid but the concentration of those liquids are different this is the first solution this is the first solution and this is the second solution here also this is the first solution and this is the second solution suppose in first solution the amount of solute is more than that in the second solution okay i'm considering the same type of example till now okay so you can easily say this is the concentrated solution and this one is the dilute solution this is the concentrated solution this one is the dilute solution over here now in case of diffusion that is if there is permeable membrane then what will happen the solute will travel will flow from the region of uh, higher concentration to the region of lower concentration or simply we can say that the solute will flow from concentrated solution to the dilute solution because if we see the concentration that is the amount of solute that is more in con concentrated solution then it will flow from this side to this side so solute will flow from left to right now this is a bilateral process at the same time the solvent molecules the solvent molecules will also flow, flow from right to left keeping the concentration uh, sorry keeping the volume of both the liquids same both the solutions same now this will process will keep happening till the concentration of both the solutions become same so there will be a point when the concentration of first solution will be equal to the concentration of the second solution this process will keep on happening till this situation so what can we say the flow of solute from higher concentrated region to lower concentrated region through the semi permeable membrane or permeable membrane is called diffusion 
ओके हियर सोल्यूट पार्टिकल्स विल फ्लो बट इन केस ऑफ ऑस्मोसिस दे आर सेपरेटेड बाय ए सेमी परमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन एंड लुक एट हियर इन दिस केस द सोल्यूट पार्टिकल्स विल नॉट बी एबल टू फ्लो फ्रॉम कंसंट्रेटेड सॉल्यूशन टू द डाइल्यूट सॉल्यूशन बिकॉज़ दिस इज सेमी परमीएबल मेम्ब्रेन एंड दिस विल ब्लॉक द सोल्यूट पार्टिकल्स बट द सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स विल बी एबल टू फ्लो फ्रॉम डाइल्यूट टू कंसंट्रेटेड Here, solvent solvent molecules will be able to to flow from dilute to concentrated because the concentration of the solvent is more in dilute because the amount of solvent molecules is more in dilute than that in concentrated. Concentrated. So obviously solvent will pass but solute will not pass. In diffusion, solute also passes but in uh, osmosis only the solvent passes and as a result of that. the volume of concentrated part this part increases right so this is osmosis and in this case the concentration of the solute uh, might be different doesn't matter it it, uh, it won't be equal at any time okay so this is what osmosis actually is now i hope you understood about the difference of diffusion and osmosis but in examination the difference of osmosis and diffusion is frequently asked so let me write the difference of di uh, diffusion and osmosis so that it will be easier for us to understand that so now as we know about diffusion and osmosis we must be able to write the difference between them because in examination difference is asked frequently so i have made a chart over here and in the left side i have written three points of diffusion and three points of uh, osmosis they are different from each other so in the first point i have written the difference between them that is the movement of solute particles from higher concentrated solution to lower concentrated solution to bring a uniform concentration throughout the solution is called diffusion that's what we read in diffusion the solute particles will flow from higher concentrated solution to the lower concentrated solution till the concentration of both the liquid or both the solution becomes same and in the right side the definition of osmosis is the spontaneous flow of solvent molecules from pure solvent into solution pure solvent means there won't be any solute particle but in solution there will be some amount of solute particles right or from dilute solution to concentrated solution through semi permeable membrane is called osmosis that is the definition of osmosis similarly the second difference is there is flow of both solute and solvent this is very important difference okay you must remember that and in osmosis there is flow of solvent only so we understood that in a uh, diff diff diffusion is a bilateral process that means solute as well as solvent will flow from uh, one side to another side but in case of osmosis only solvent will flow but solute does not flow at all similarly the third and the final difference is semi permeable membrane is not required so in this case semi permeable membrane is not required if there is semi permeable membrane then also it is fine otherwise also it is fine but in osmosis semi permeable membrane is a must without semi permeable membrane osmosis cannot happen now i forgot to tell you about one thing there is osmotic pressure as well now see the pressure the minimum amount of pressure that is required to stop from osmosis to happen is called osmotic pressure about which we will uh, study in my further videos as well so this is the difference between diffusion and osmosis you can take the screenshot of this okay so i have to take took the screenshot already so that's all in this video i have you understood everything about this video in this video we understood what membrane and its types actually are what uh, diffusion and osmosis are with the diagram and which are the difference between diffusion and osmosis as well if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video